Hello everybody and welcome to Bourbon Adventures. Today we're doing a battle. Uh, head to head, whatever you want to call it, but this is only my second time doing this. Today we're taking on a couple of big boys from Sazerac, Buffalo Trace. We're going to do Blanton's versus Colonel Taylor Small Batch. So what, typically what I do is I've poured both I know what it is, it's not a blind, so it's just a head-to-head. -head. Which one of these bottles do I like best today? And that's that's the whole video. So let's start with a little Blanton's. Oh yeah, definitely get the honey and vanilla. A little bit of oak. A little bit of orange citrus. I know Blanton's gets a lot of hate on the internet. It is a single barrel, comes in at 93 proof, I believe. Yep, 93 proof. This uh, this bottle is actually from 11, 12, 21. So, got it. Mm. Not a huge, huge fan of Bland's. I don't hate it. If I see it in the store and it's an MSRP, I'll pick up a bottle. Ooh, definitely brown sugar, caramel, honey. Very good. You can't go wrong if you have a Blanton's at home. Now, I would say it's probably not an everyday sipper just because of the, it is harder, harder to find. And... Not to say Colonel Taylor is easy to find either because I don't know if I've seen a Colonel Taylor actually in a store up in Michigan, <laughs> just out in the wild. This bottle I actually got at Buffalo Trace. Actually, both of these. Both of these came actually from the distillery. My first, this was my first Blanton's bottle and my first Colonel Taylor bottle were at Blanton or at uh, Buffalo Trace. And I just got lucky and that was the bottle they were giving away that day. It's really good though. A little dry oak on the on the finish. A little rye spice. Definitely vanilla caramel. Your most flavors that you get in bourbon. Grab my water real quick. Rinse. Before I go to the Colonel Taylor. Now, Colonel Taylor, this is a small batch, so this isn't a single barrel or anything like that, so it is blended. I don't know if it tells you the, I mean, it's bottled and bond, so it's definitely four years old. Uh, it doesn't tell, I don't think it is. I think it's just at least four years old. I think that's all it is. It's 100 proof, bottled and bond. If you don't know, bottled and bond means it has to be at least four years old and at 100 proof. So whenever you see bottled and bond, you know it's 100 proof and it's aged at least four years in the United States. In a bonded warehouse at the distillery. It has to be distilled and everything through the same distillery from start to finish. Get a little, uh, little butterscotch. Not a whole lot. I, don't know. I mean, this butterscotch is about it. A little caramel. Man, there's something else there, and I just can't really pick it up right now. Almost like a. Almost like a slight, slight licorice. Now my, I've been stuffy for a week now, so my nose isn't all that great right now, but definitely pick up the butterscotch. So let's see what it tastes like. Ooh. Get a little bit of raisin, oak, definitely vanilla. Got a little, little pepper finish. 
a little, little spice, not, not overpowering at all. So when I do a battle, it's how I judge it is if these are the only two bottles I had to drink today, which one am I grabbing? And if uh, you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get all no and get notified whenever I put out a new video. I think the Blanton's definitely uh, got a little more on the nose, a little more uh, complex uh, flavors and stuff on the nose at least. I like the. I think I like the palette of the Taylor. I like the nose of the Blanton. So this is gonna be a little hard. And to be honest, I haven't had either one of these for quite a while. So I didn't, uh, I don't really crack them open very often. I do have a couple backups for Blanton's, but this is my only Colonel Taylor bottle. So I really don't wanna finish it off and not have a backup. I like having backups of all the bottles I really like, or at least access to the to another bottle. Hmm, a little tobacco, leather on the finish with that peppercorn and peppery taste. Yeah, I don't get much on the nose with the Colonel Taylor. Try this again, rinse out. Now, if you haven't watched the other, I did one other head-to-head -head video. Um, yeah, I'll try to link it up top somewhere. I've never had to link a video, but we're going to try it on this one. Yeah, that the vanilla and orange really shines on this one. Which I get, a or I get orange on a lot. A lot of uh, nose that I do. Man, that's good. That is good. Yeah, so, which one is gonna win today's head-to-head -head battle? Blanton's or Colonel Taylor? Small batch. Um, yeah, it's so hard because they both have their good qualities and they both have their bad qualities. But I think for me today, I think we're going with Blanton's. I think Blanton's is gonna beat out Colonel Taylor for me today. And I think it's, it just seems more, more complex where this just seems very, comes, it's almost, it's the nose. The nose is just flat. It's just not a whole lot there. And it could be because I'm coming off a cold. I don't know, but today's battle goes to Blanton's. So everyone raise their glass and remember, it's not about the whiskey, it's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Very good. Very good.